Hey everybody, this is Burke, and I wanted to show you how easy it is to use TypeScript with the new NativeScript 1.5 release, and how much fun it is to use TypeScript inside of Visual Studio Code, which has fantastic support for TypeScript. So let's do this. The first thing we need to do is create a new project. So we'll say TNS, create, and we'll just do a TypeScript demo. And then we'll change into that directory here. It's a little auto completion, that's nice. And then TNS platform add iOS. And then let's open it up. So I'm gonna open it in Visual Studio Code here with this nice shortcut. There we go. The app is pretty much what you'd expect from a native script. It's, it's exactly what you'd expect. It's the, the native script template here. Um, we need to install TypeScript now. So let's do that. And all we have to do is TNS install. TypeScript and it will go out pull in TypeScript and after this installs you'll notice if we jump over to Visual Studio Code here we got some new items in our folders we have hooks which has uh, all of our build steps here and then we have in node modules a TypeScript uh, node module and then we have the TS config file as well which is already completely configured so we don't need to do any work here let me bump up the font size a little bit on this for uh, small video screens okay let's see how we can leverage TypeScript we have the files here. These are just straight JavaScript files. So let me just rename this thing to uh, TS. There we go. So let's look here and let's import as VM module uh, from, and then we'll get this business down here. There we go. So we're now importing this module correctly. There we go. And you can see that it can't find main view model. That's because main view model is a JavaScript. So let's rename this to TypeScript. There we go. And let's retool this file for just a minute to be more TypeScripty. So let's import star observable. And from, we can just, there we go, that works. And what's cool about this is if we come in here, we can see that we have observable, but let's say we didn't know what this data slash observable module exports. I can do control space, and here's all the things I can bring in. Really just event data and observable, but there we go. So we've got observable in, and now we've got this hello world model, which we've created, which is kind of a class. You can see where we've got a function underscore super and extends, and this is all very confusing. So let's not do this. Let's do class. Hello world model extends observable. All right, let me go ahead and I'm gonna add in a little bit of a one there to kill the intelligence. There we go, so that's looking good. And then in our constructor here, let's super, there we go, which is, that's what's happening here. This is actually the output of TypeScript. Now let's, let's do some things here. We've got, uh, it wants us to this.counter equals 42 and this dot set um, in fact you know what I'll just copy this there's no point in me retyping this let's just pull all this stuff up here and you can see that it doesn't like that there's no counter here it's like I don't know what this is hey man let's just add that so counter is a number there we go fancy schmancy now we've got the first part of this and we use this tap action uh, met method is what we need so let's just grab all this here We'll come up and we'll just create a tap action method here. Uh, and it's a function. And that's how we do functions in TypeScript. We'll just copy this code in. And that's all we have to do. And then we'll go ahead and we'll pull all of this out. Oop. So there we go. And now we can do, we can actually export. We don't need to do all of this sort of weird exporting here. We just say export default. Hello world view, hello world model. There we go. And just like that, we have completely refactored this model and look how much nicer it looks, it's so pretty. Okay, let's save this. Let's head back over to the main page and you'll see that we can now import star as VM module from main view model. And if we look at VM module, we get IntelliSense for it. Uh, and we're actually getting the default. What we want to do is this right here there we go and these are all the different things that we can do with it um, and now we can say uh, actually we can just um, let's let's pull the whole thing in so we called it the main view model and what was it called over here it was called 
hello world models. We'll just we'll just call it that. Import hello world model, and then we can say uh, var model equals new hello world model. And now if we look at that model object, you can see we have uh, that counter object that we created. This is actually the class we're looking at. You can see that tap action down there. Super nice IntelliSense inside of Visual Studio Code, loving that. So let's go ahead and pull this. And here we have a page loaded function with some args, args that object. Let's go ahead and strongly type these things so we can get some IntelliSense as well. So we'll pull in import page from UI slash page. And let's also import event data from data slash observable. Now again, if we didn't know what we needed to import here, we could just say uh, control space, what can I import? Oh, event data or observable. Event data is what we need because that's what these methods receive on events. So args is a type event data. Go ahead and put that in there. Lovely, and then let's strongly type this page object. So we'll just say this is a page. Now, once we say that that's a page, we can actually look at that and say page dot binding context, but maybe we didn't know that binding context was the right method. So page dot, hmm, what can we choose here? Uh, looks like we have binding context right there. There we go. We no longer have this VM model. We just called it model like that. We'll pull this out. And then we can just export this as normal as we normally would for native script. So go ahead and save all this nice type scripty stuff here. And you'll notice that none of this has been rendered out to JavaScript yet. So let's go ahead and run this in iOS. So we'll TNS run iOS in the emulator, fire that up. All right, here's our emulator and here's our application and we can tap it and you can see everything works. Super duper, so easy to do TypeScript. And look, if we go back to Visual Studio Code, look at this, here's our JavaScript files. You can see all the outported goodness from, Java, uh, from TypeScript to the JavaScript files. And that is how easy it is to use TypeScript with native script and fun and really nice inside of Visual Studio Code. Enjoy.